from uh, Galilpo. Hi everybody, we are from the Galilee, from our house. And we wanted to update you of what is going on now yeah. in the land. We just want to thank um, some of you that have contacted us and wrote us private message and asked us how we're doing. I can't begin to tell you, I can't begin to tell you what that means to Nom and I, mm -hmm. um, just for you to take the time to do that. It means so much of us, especially since we're in the land. I mean, we're living in the land. We are experiencing everything that is going on in the land. And, um, and many of you ask us questions and we give you ground level what's happening um, because some of your news reporters are not accurate at all. So, so let's, let's start with actually what caused it or how it all started. So it started a few days ago when there started a violent demonstration mm -hmm. in Temple Mount. Mm -hmm. The Arabs there with the Hamas and Arabs from the north came and tried to um, stimulate the people, trying to push them mm -hmm. to really uh, demonstrate violently, throwing stones and fireworks at the policemen. Mm -hmm. So it started with that and then we have the Gaza, the Hamas in Gaza. So the Hamas in Gaza fired a few rockets just to tell everybody, hey, we are in the picture. Mm -hmm. But as the, this demonstration got more serious, then Hamas in Gaza understood they have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. They said, Jerusalem is calling us. Mm -hmm. And they said, if Israel, the policemen, will not evacuate Temple Mount, then they will fire rockets to Jerusalem. Wow. Of course, we went on as usual, and it was Jerusalem Day, yeah. the day that we yeah. celebrate that on uh, 1967, the Six Days War, right. that Jerusalem returned to our hands. So we have the parades and yes. the dancing with flags and so on. A happy day for Jerusalem. But on that day, mm -hmm. that's when the Hamas said that, because they wanted our people, my people, to be alert, to mm -hmm. be sad, not to be so joyful because of the day of Jerusalem. And that's why they chose that timing. Right. You know, don't be so happy. Here we're going to fire at you. And so we just went on as usual. Yeah, that's, a, that's Israelis, aren't they? Yeah. No matter what, we are going to celebrate <laughs> yes. uh, because of all that they've gone through. And you think about it, that, that 1967, can you imagine uh, coming to that Western Wall and being able to enter in. The mm -hmm. sad thing is known is that they gave the Temple Mount away. That, that to me is the most grievous uh, and, thing uh, that any leader of Israel could have done. Right, and think about it. Do you think that the Lord our God is really happy that in Jerusalem, the city that is mentioned so many yeah. times in the Bible, his city, right, his, that home, there his is, home address. Yes, that there are two huge mosques there. You think that he is happy about it? Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. The problem is that we just had an opportunity in the Six Days War. We didn't take it. Yeah. And now we just... And we oh, gave it back. We gave it back for, and now For it's, peace. Yes. Well, you know, it's, it's amazing because even though we are in this uh, 2021, it doesn't matter. God's word doesn't change. Mm -hmm. God doesn't change. He doesn't change um, his words. He doesn't add in another word. He doesn't take out another word. It's based on God's word. We cannot give the land away. And we did that with um, Gaza. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think about when that happened, I yes. cried and cried because of the beautiful um, Jewish uh, neighborhoods and the greenhouses and the producing of, of agriculture that came out of the Gaza. And, and now look, and that was given away for peace. Yes. But but we can't talk about that so much now because, okay, it's done with and we're paying the consequences for it. Right. But now we need to understand what is the Lord saying now? How do we react through all of this, Noam? Because it's a hard thing. We're up in the Galilee. Um, the rockets haven't come um, near us. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. But our hearts grieve when I just get off the phone with my 98-year-old Ema Holocaust survivor, and she says to me, she says, Debbie Line, Debbie Line, she says, they rushed me out of my apartment into the hallway, into the hallway. 
Can you imagine a Holocaust survivor having um, rockets come towards her in her own land that God has given her? It's, I, 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 can't, I have no words. I have no words. Right. And besides that, now other Arabs throughout the country, yeah. in the south and in the north, mm -hmm. in the north still Akko, even in Akko, the Arabs began to demonstrate violently. See, Hamas, it's actually yeah. violence. That's what it is. That's what it means. In Hebrew, no, that's what Noam is saying. In yes. Hebrew, the word violence in the Bible, yes. when Noam translated, is actually Hamas. Right. So it's through violence. So you see this violence in Akko, even to the north, yeah. that two restaurants, Israeli restaurants, were yeah. burned and a hotel was set on fire. And also in Nazareth and Kfar Kana, all these violent demonstrations. And in Lod, Lod is a city that Jews and Arabs have yeah. lived together. Yes. Somehow peacefully. Thank you, Lord. And Nazareth. Yeah, but in, in Lod it's even like equal. Right. Really the same amount. Nazareth is more Arabs than mm -hmm. Jews, but mm -hmm. in Lod it was like half half, 50 50. Mm -hmm. And it's unbelievable what is happening there. Cars are being burned, a synagogue was burned, and people feel so insecure. And one Israeli right. guy shot uh, a demonstrator, Arab, that came at him with rocks and killed him. Mm. And so now they're accusing him. Anyway, that's another matter. Yeah. But things are just so intense. Right. And in laws are going to be probably a quarantine now. Yeah. Trying to solve the problem. So besides the rockets, that were fired mm. like 1,000 rockets. It's within now. Yeah. It's within. But Noman, I want to say, there are beautiful Arab people. Yes. Beautiful, 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 beautiful Arab people that we mm -hmm. love. But there's always those um, that will rise up like this and yeah. will start to join in with Hamas. And it's, it's so grievous because it's going to affect everybody now. Yes. Um, everybody's going to become suspicious. And Noam and I are determined not to become suspicious. We have made too many wonderful, wonderful Arab Jews friends mm -hmm. that we, we love, that have sat at our table. And we want them to know that we, we will not build a barrier. We will not build a barrier. Um, the cause separation. Right. But if you see the bigger picture, you know, it's all connected to the Corona as well. Mm -hmm. That the Lord is actually showing us through the Corona right. to deal with things that we put under the carpet, things that were hidden in us. Mm -hmm. So this hatred in the Arabs is, mm -hmm. is deep inside mm -hmm. and it just came out now right. with the help of Hamas. Yeah. So it was there, but dormant. Right, because we've had some peaceful times. I mean, yes. yes, there's been horrible excursions. Yes, we know that. And the Israelis know that. And they've lived through it. They've lived through it. But the Israelis' hearts is always, always to live in peace. Always it's been that way. Um, the only thing is you can't give the land away for peace. That will right. never work according to God's God's word. But, but again, no, I just want to emphasize this again and again that Noam and I really want to go out to some of these places and we want them to see our smiles and we want them to know that we love them. My heart is that um, even on some of the videos that I'm seeing in comments, I can't believe the anti-Semitic, uh, I can't believe the accusations against Israel. I, I cannot yeah. believe, and my my, I try to stay off. I really try to stay off of air base polls, but I had to make a comment to one. I said, excuse me, do you live here? Mm -hmm. Of course he doesn't live here. Of course she doesn't live here. But they, they've come up with this theory and it's so anti-Semitic. It's, it's unbelievable what people that are Christians that are accusing Israel of do. We live here, we know what goes on. Yeah, and, and we know how the army, the, I, the yeah. IDF, oh how they are fighting. Oh. Everything is very, it's yeah. very, very accurate. We don't just fire at random like no. Hamas does. Yeah. They're just firing at random. They have no name, no targets. Well, they don't care if they hit their own people. 
Yeah, even that in Lod, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Two Arabs, Israeli Arabs, died because of a rocket. Beautiful Arab um, Israelis. Beautiful. One girl was only 15. I just, oh, it just, it's just heartbreaking. The fact, but but we know according to the word, they will even turn on themselves. Right, and so also Israel, before they bomb a building, they give a warning. Mm-hmm. And, and they, uh, yeah, imagine that. Now, who does that? Who does that in this world? And so, but Hamas is saying, if you will destroy these buildings that had something, I don't yeah. know what, then we will attack Tel Aviv. Of course, that didn't stop us. So we bombed that building, yeah. seven, 17 stories high building, yeah. just collapsed. Because of what it held. Yes. So, sure enough, that evening, Hamas had fired about 50 mm-hmm. rockets toward Tel Aviv area. Yeah. And a bus was hit, burned in the middle of the street. But look at the miracle. Look at the yes. miracle. The bus driver stopped the bus and told the passengers, get out now. And all of the passengers got out. And then the bus was struck. And yes, there's been horrible casualties. And yes, the Lord um, neither slumbers or sleeps. He's watching over. But in the midst of it, I just want you to hear it. There are casualties and there are people that are grieving. And the children are being traumatized. And, and not just our side, but the, but the Palestinian side. Yes. The Palestinian side. It's, it's such a sad thing. But again, God's covenant for Israel is everlasting. And just like somebody just shared, it's not because Israel is perfect. Trust me, okay? (laughs) I have a list. It's not because they're perfect. It's because God chose them, uh, the least of the least, to show us he will not break covenant, as he will not break covenant with us. Even when we do stupid things, he still loves us and he still calls us. Yes, but the problem is that we put peace first. Yeah. We don't put him first. Mm-hmm. And and as it says in Deuteronomy, that the nations there, the pagan nations that will be in the, in the, the country, they will be a thorn in our side. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what the Arabs are. Mm-hmm. So it, they're really here to push us to do things that we didn't do. We just put it onto the carpet, right. like giving away the land to peace. Right. Or don't taking care of Jerusalem spiritually as we should have right. in 67. Right. So we are paying for mistakes that we have done yeah. through the Arabs. So the Lord is using them. And we want them to be happy. Mm-hmm. I mean, just like when we go to Abagos, we go to our favorite, favorite Arab Muslim family. Yeah. And I, I call grandma and grandpa. I mean, they light up when they see us. Yes. And... And they know, they know we're, we're believers in Yeshua and, and we know who they are, but we can come and we can sit at a table together mm-hmm. and, and are happy that we are in the land together right. and that we call each other Mishpaka family. Yeah, because these are different Arabs. You yeah. see, uh, people from another country don't know it. The Arab mm-hmm. you think is an Arab. Mm-hmm. No, we no. have the Arab in Abu Ghosh that actually from the very beginning stood with Israel. Yeah. And so you can be at peace there even now, even now when it's chaos all over the yeah. country, but you can be they at peace there. They stand with Israel and there's many Arabs that have said to us, I wouldn't trade anything from being an Israeli citizen. They're proud of being it. Mm-hmm. But there are those that through their lineage that hate and, and what is between the Jew and the Arab. But the Lord has a plan in all of this, but the land belongs to Israel. And we can't argue that. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, so many of us read Psalm 23 and we love it. But when we start to read that the land belongs to Israel, we'll go, well, we don't really, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> but, but one of the Psalms that the Lord gave this morning, and I just want to share this with all of you. And there's so many, there's so many. Um, Psalm 124. And thank God for the Iron Dome. Thank the Lord for the Iron Dome. Thank the Lord for the Iron Dome. Thank the Lord for the Iron Dome. Who who intercepted about a third of all the rockets, which is amazing. Amazing. Um, And by the way, there was a Holocaust survivor um, that died in that um, uh, rocket attack, which... I, 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 I'm yeah. speechless. I can't even talk about it. Psalm 124. If the Lord 
had not been on our side, let Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side when men attacked us, when their anger flared against us, they would have swallowed us alive. The flood would have engulfed us. The torrents would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord, who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird out of the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and yes, earth. Lord. And Father, we declare that. We, yes, just, we speak this over this land, Father. Yes. We speak wisdom from on high to the IDF, Father. We speak yes. wisdom in our government that will move, Father, with wisdom, your wisdom, Lord, your heavenly wisdom. Because remind them, Father, that you are their help. Yes. The name of the Lord, our help, Israel, the help is the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Father, we pray for the children. We pray yes, for the Lord. children yes. on both, both the Palestinian children and the children in the land, Father God. We ask, Father, that you will comfort them. That, Father, that they will they will see uh, dreams and visions of you, Father. Yes. We ask for comfort. Comfort thee, O Israel. Comfort thee, O Israel, Father. Comfort those, Father, that have been traumatized. Comfort those, Lord, that will be with even with the PTSA, Lord, that are having every time they hear a sound, they jump, they jump, they jump, Lord. Father, we are asking that you will undertake. Forgive us. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us, Lord, that we have forgotten to call on your name. Yes, Forgive Lord. Israel, Lord. Forgive Israel, Father. Yes, we ask this in the name of the Lord. And we ask, Father, for mercy and grace in this time. Father, we ask for the next uh, attack that is supposed to come between 6 o'clock tonight and 9 o'clock tonight. The threats that are coming from, yes. from the direction, Father. We ask that you will put up a shield, a shield that will stop the rockets, Lord, and turn them back. Turn them back, Lord, yes, to where Lord. they came. But protect the innocent ones. Yes, protect Lord. the innocent yes, ones, Father. We ask this in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 And among all this chaos and all this intensity of fighting, there is a, this is the time now that they're trying to build a new government. Mm -hmm. It's called the block of change. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how that happens. If it doesn't work out, we will go to a fifth election. Yeah. So these are all the things that is happening in the land. We just put it a little bit on the table yes. and we are... Thank you for praying for thank us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for praying for us that stand in the land yes. and that declare his name, Yeshua, and will never stop declaring his name to the Arabs, the Jews, and the secular Jews, and the religious Jews. Amen, yes. Thank you for those who support us. Um, you have no idea. Yes. And some of you have said, well, I can only give a little bit. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. When you give a little bit, we look at the Sea of Galilee. We look and above Capernaum, the Mount of Beatitudes, the Lord will multiply it. Yes. And we can use it for the, for the calling that God has on gnomes in my life. Amen. So we thank you that thank we can stand so here yes. as Declaring Zion International. Yes. Look us up, DeclaringZionInternational.org. Lord, we are declaring the good news. Amen. Amen. Love you. Blessing. We love you guys. Bye-bye.